What's up? So this is my game that I just played in the new awesome Legacy of the Void. My name is Neri. I play Terran mostly, currently in Diamond. So not that good. Let's speed up this shit. So I played just Terran today, and we had some uh, let's say interesting game. So I just did. I do this really weird build that doesn't even make any sense, but I like it. It's basically gas first, second gas, go factory. Don't mess up with your scouting is severe, you will get dead by reaper, yeah very good now enemy reaper comes in with base so yeah I wanna drop a tank and some other units but I apparently somehow messed up and I didn't even get a full full drop, haha intercepted reaper, yeah you go away now uh, siege tank coming up enemy reaper doing nothing, I don't care what he does doesn't matter so here we go, siege tank and I don't know why I built Reapers, should not have built Reapers. I probably, yeah, and his Reapers scouted everything, so he knows exactly what's going on. And now he's like, yeah, the other guy has to build an expansion yet. <laughs> so here comes my dropship. And oh shit, people watching. Okay, let me just drop over here. Let me kill this fucking depot. Get dead, depot. Do you think? And then comes the micro. Ooh, do you see this target firing? And this guy die, this guy die. But I did kill that one, so at least something. Oops. Did I just hit boss? No, I didn't. Good. So units lost pretty even still, amazingly. Um, four workers behind, so I'm going a little bit into some kind of panic mode because it feels really behind. Um, to shoot because he has like everything and he's producing and has proper build order and shit. Uh, while I'm just like, ah, what to do? Here comes the Viking micro. Yeah, not so much. Here comes the amazing reaper. <laughs> Here comes the most fantastic uh, siege tank in all of Starcraft. Look at this. Micro. And more micro. And then like, ooh, what the fuck, yolo. And dead. Okay, very good. But at least his sacrifice was not in vain because this hero viking killed off the dropship drop ship thingy. Yes, hero, everything. Everything dies. Excellent. Still alive. Didn't die, enemy forgot the macro, very good. So I'm like, oh shit, now I'm even further behind, which is true because I lost a lot of the CVs. Pigon's like, uh uh, you're not dropping me mode. Um, so he comes to attack, which is spotted by these two guys. I'm like, shit, how many expansions does my enemy got? And so he sieges up, kills this, he also hates depots apparently. And so, if you look at the army tabs, we have the same amount of tanks. I have three Vikings, which is like godsend the situation, and he loses all his marines, thankfully. But obviously, he might have tried to kill me. But he's like, haha, I got him contained now, now I'm gonna win an easy game. And then he doesn't really contain because he's too tired of the. Um, well, TBT, so I have Viking advantage, which, which is excellent, because he can't really fight me, as you can see. Sure, it, he killed me there, but I have like backup. Always have backup. Oh yeah, and he sent some dudes over here, which also died. And uh, more Viking harassment, because if you have Viking Viking advantage, you can always slowly push. He has to scan every single time he wants to do shit. So he's like, nah, I'm gonna break this guy. And then he realizes that, uh oh, this guy has 12 tanks, I have only two, and bio. So he does what bio people do. Drops. Not successfully on my dad. So if we look at, let's have a quick boss. Look at unit lost tab. He's like, woo, 2000 ahead. Because he's just been throwing units left and right. Well, which he can, because he's already up to third base. If you look at supplies, he's like 75 ahead. So this must be really like, okay, let's do the push and let's end the game and let's go to sleep. Mode for him, I guess. You will know why I think he's going to sleep later. So this is really annoying for him, because I can like poke for free. I don't have to use scan all the time with my Vikings, so I can just poke him out, slowly advance. There's like no way he can engage this, because if he tries to load up, actually he could probably engage if he just tried. But uh, most Terrans won't, and he is no exception. So this is like this dance going on, whoa that's too fast for my computer, okay. And so he drops some shit and he just, I slowly advance, one each tank at a time. But because I have Vikings, he can't really touch anything, and his stuff dies because he didn't know what to do. So I slowly like if you look um, if you look at the positioning over here, 
So I was like completely contained in my base, but now I have broken out. And the key to doing that, if you play mech, is if you go slowly. So here's what they always try to do. This uh, pesky bio terrans. <laughs> Who does that anyway? They try to drop you, so you build like a million turrets because you really only want tanks anyway. So you don't need the minerals, you can just spend it all. Okay, let's speed up. Yes, this dies. Excellent, very good for me. Um, yeah, and more turret. I don't want to be dropped again, so I build like a million of them again. And we see he has like 300,000 resources and he starts to wonder at Wait a minute, I can't really break this guy. I can't drop this guy. How am I gonna like end the game? Well, one, one way would be to contain, the second way would be to go Sky Terran, but he has absolutely no upgrades, zero, 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 zero. Whilst my Vikings are already at, well, they have two armor, because they share armor with the mech. Yeah, he doesn't think this is fun at all, because I'm just, I'm just not attacking, I'm just defending, I'm just sitting here, like, like, come bring it, bitch, and I'm slowly taking another expansion. Now, he's still taking two more expansions, but I don't care. Okay, let's speed up. Ah, no way, I can't speed up. Computer can't handle. Cannot handle the truth. So he's like, ah, oh, fuck it, I'm gonna attack. Oh, big mistake. And then he's like, okay, I attack middle. No, nope, can't do that either. And here comes the pesky Vikings again, killing off shit. <laughs> yeah, it's really not happy camper, this guy. Can't win with bio, huh? And here comes the, like, best comeback ever. Neither can you. <laughs> Because you stink with bio. No, you don't stink with bio, but you just can't. Like in this position, you cannot build more bio. You can like do some kind of doom drop and hope for the best, or try to pull the making player like out of position somehow. Won't work for me. Okay, and here we have big, big, big fight. Here's the mech power. Seriously. Um. So he has like almost pure, like mostly marauder force. And I have like siege tanks, so you'd think like marauders probably pretty good against that. Nope, they are not. And I had big air force. I like I have still a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 tanks like just sitting there somewhere. And I still want to fight. Okay, let's speed up again. And uh, as we can see, he has a big bank, but uh, my supply is rising now. Um, and I do this pretty annoying thing. I just drop one tank over this planetary. He's like, ah, oh, so annoying. I have to deal with this shit too. And he starts to build Vikings. So, uh, doesn't have any upgrades, of course. Well, I'm a 3 2, so mine are like much, much, much better than his Vikings. And he moves out without really scanning or knowing where I am, so I just backstab him in my machine and kill him. Where do we get the battle cruisers? And now, battle cruisers are really like tanks at this moment. They're like 3 armor. They take so long to kill. So while his Vikings are trying to kill my battle cruisers, my Vikings kill all of his shit. And now, uh, in the meantime, these guys were like coming over here, killing his base and his space. And at this point, he's like uh, 3,000 minerals, which won't help him at all because he can't go bio. This shit will just kill his bio. But only 250 guys, so he decides to GG. While being behind so far in supply, he could never catch up anyway. Uh, I just want to go back and consider this never give up, never surrender type of thing. Because if you look at uh, the positioning after this drop, or technically actually after his drop, when he first got the contain. Uh, so let, oh, I'm a little too far ahead, whatever. Uh, so here comes the drop. Da -da -da. And um, did a lot of damage, eventually cleaned up, super super tank, goes suicide mode this time too. And if we pass from this situation soon, when he just does what all Terrans do, right here. Um, I'm completely contained, I can't get anywhere. I mean I could probably maybe drop him somewhere, but I can't get this base. He's soon about to take his. Uh, well, this would be my third, he already has his third, he's up 20 workers, and a lot of supply in his favor. So if I would try to just force, forcefully break this, I would probably lose. So, never give up, never surrender, and if you're mech, just learn the turtle. Thank you, I'm done, yay, and I won. <laughs> this guy got really mad. Peace.